good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice for radio. So today, I am here to tell you that Arceus, and Dialga, and Palkia GX is legit. It had a very, very good showing at the International Championships in Sao Paulo last weekend. And the third place finisher was Giovanni Perigallo. Apologies for the pronunciation, as always. With Arceus and Dialga and Palkia. This is a card which I was slightly unsure of. I always knew it was good. I didn't know if it would be fast enough in our format. And the international championships over in Brazil have gone and proven me well and truly wrong. But it's a card I really like and I've always thought that Arceus deserved to be at the centre of our format. It's like the god Pokemon, so I'm totally cool with being wrong about this. Now it is a 280 HP Dragon Pokemon. And the real highlight, the eye-catching thing here, is the GX attack Altered Creation GX. One Metal Energy, for the rest of the game, your attacks do 30 more to your opponent's active. And that is all attacks from all of your Pokemon. But if you've got a Metal and a Water, not only do you do 30 more for the rest of the game, but every time you take a KO with one of those attacks, you take an extra prize. That's pretty phenomenal. Clearly, over in Expanded, where we've got double Dragon Energy, and we can pay the attack cost with a single Energy Attachment, we are loving it. Evidently, it works just fine over here as well. We'll get more into that in a moment. Now, the main attack here is a Water, a Metal, and a Colorless, 150 damage. And then you search your deck for up to three basic Energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way that you like. That means that as soon as you get one ultimate ray off, you're set up for the game. As soon as you attack once with Arceus and Dialga and Palkia, you will then basically have the energy that you need to carry you through the remainder of the game. It's rather wonderful. Though, must be stressed that we do actually need to get to the stage where we get that first attack off. And that's one of the main points of the deck here. That's really what we're going for so much. Now, in terms of other Pokemon, the main other Pokemon we see here, really in terms of flesh of the deck out, is Keldeo. Keldeo is great. Keldeo doesn't take any damage from EX or GX Pokemon. That buys you time. Now, don't get me wrong, you're playing Water Energy for ADP anyway, so you can attack with Keldeo. But essentially here, you can just buy yourself time, buy yourself a turn or two. Remember, once you're set up with ADP, you're rolling. But you need a turn or two to get the energy on user GX attack, etc. Keldeo's here to buy you that time. Now it's also hitting a really good weakness against fire Pokemon. And some decks just will not be able to deal with it. But then people can just play Power Plant, and you can see Ultra Forest Cart and Void played by Ultra Beast, etc. People generally have ways around Keldeo, but that doesn't mean it's not a really good card that cannot do a lot of damage in the right hands. Now, we also do see one copy here of Megalopony and Jigglypuff, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, just get ready, alright? It's going to keep happening. This is a phenomenal card that is just going to keep popping up in deck list after deck list. Free colorless energy, 60 damage base, plus 60 more for each GX or EX your opponent has in play. Pikachu and Zekrom with three GXs in play. That is two plus the Pikachu and Zekrom. Yeah, that's a one-hit KO. Any other tag team, four GXs, including the one you're attacking. It's just really good. And of course, you're accelerating energy using ADP, so why would you not put something like this in, which is essentially one attack from ADP. You need one ultimate ray, and then you've got all the energy on here. Now, we do also see one Lucario and Melmetal. It's all right here for the GX attack, which means your Pokemon take 30 less for the rest of the game. But really here, you want to be using ADP's GX attack. This is here as a counter for Gardevoir and Sylveon. Because you see, Gardevoir and Sylveon can get a very, very, very easy one-hit KO on ADP. That's a bad thing. But you can get a one-hit KO on them for four energy, and they've got no answer. Like, once you get that KO on Gardevoir and Sylveon, there isn't really very much they can do at all. Now, 
they max out at 200 damage. And even their GX attack, it makes you shuffle your entire hand into your deck, but it doesn't do any extra damage. So against a Gardevoir and Sylveon, if you get 4 energy on a Lucario and Melmetal, that's basically game. You can just put an ADP up to accelerate the energy, let your opponent get the KO, and then just KO two in a row for the win. That's why Lucario and Melmetal so good here. Now, we do see a 1-1 line of Zeb Striker, just as a little bit of extra draw. Once during your turn, you may discard your hand, draw four. That's quite nice. We then see one copy of Fione. Now, Fione we love. Once during your turn, if it's on your bench, you may have your opponent switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench, and then discard all cards attached to this Pokemon and put it on the bottom of your deck. This pretty much guarantees you won't deck out. Now, that's not to say your opponent couldn't play something like Belalba and Bryson Man to counter that. But unless they are playing something like that, this just makes sure you don't deck out. It also makes your opponent switch their active Pokemon. Yes, it's their choice which one they switch, but this is another one of those things where just pay attention the next time you play a game. Think every turn. If my opponent made me switch my active, would it annoy me? And you'll see quite how quickly you get to the conclusion of, oh yeah, that would really, really suck. And then one copy of Drampa. Drampa. Now this is the one that for free colorless energy does 140 damage if this Pokemon has two or more different types of basic energy attached to it. Well, the whole point of this deck is you've got to play a mixture of metal and water energy for ADP. So you can very easily get two different kinds of energy on. And really, this is just your non-GX attacker. This is what you use to make sure that you're not constantly throwing, I mean, really, two or three prize attackers at your opponent. Usually three. That's why we love the Drampa here. The Drampa is awesome. Oh, yeah. And four copies of Jirachi, two copies of Dedene. This is your engine, essentially. Jirachi lets you look at the top five cards of your deck, find a trainer card and put it in your hand. And then Dedene lets you discard your hand and draw six cards. When combined with Zeb Striker, that gives you the speed that you need. Cool. Now, in terms of the trainers here, we do see four copies of Cynthia. It is the best draw card in the game at the moment, so that's not terribly surprising. And we see three copies of Cynthia... And Caitlyn. This is making its way into a huge amount of decks. And there's a very good reason why. You put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. Discard a card from your hand. Not the supporter you just grabbed. And then you draw three cards. Simple as that. And it's the draw here which is so gosh darn good. And then you get your supporter back. Something like Lusamine is fun for getting your supporter back, but you're not drawing extra cards. You're not necessarily advancing your board position too well. This covers that very nicely indeed. Now, we also do see a couple copies of Mallow and Lana. It's basically a switch that also lets you heal 120 HP. When you're talking free prize Pokemon, you do not want them getting KO'd. So it's, it's a pretty gosh darn good option. We then see four copies of Pokemon Communication because we don't have anything better for searching out our Pokemon. It's all well and good sitting there going, we don't have any good non-GX Pokemon search, at least for things like Jirachi, and that's correct. But we still got Pokemon Communication. You're still playing 16 Pokemon. And we saw this with Robin's winning Pikachu and Zekrom list. I'll pop a link to that one in the description. It's better than nothing and it will do the job. Three copies of Switch, because you will often want to get your ADP in the active, accelerate energy, and then switch to another attacker. And you've got some big retreat costs running around here. Two copies of Tag Call, because we're playing a whole bunch of Tag Team Pokemon. And we're playing a whole bunch of Tag Team GXs. <laughs> Obviously, Tag Call's going to be great. Let's you search for any two of them. Two copies of Great Catcher. What's happening is exactly what I suggested was going to happen. People are dropping Custom Catcher for Great Catcher. Great Catcher lets you discard two cards from your hand and then swap your opponent's active with one of their benched EX or GX Pokemon. No, it's not as good as Custom Catcher that can gust anything into the active, but Custom Catcher, you've got to play two at once. This is going to be the case in a lot of decks moving forward. You save two spots in your deck while also making it easier because it's easier to draw into one of two cards 
than it is to draw into two of four cards. It does mean your non-GXs are going to be safer moving forward. One copy of Reset Stamp, it's a staple in every deck. Your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck, draws cards equal to their remaining prizes. Pretty gosh darn important, especially if your opponent takes a big lead. Two copies of a skateboard that lets your Jirachi retreat for free even when it's asleep. That's pretty big. And then we see a couple copies of Choice Helmet. Choice Helmet's awesome here. It means you take 30 less damage from Pokemon GX and EX. We don't have any other tools we really want to play. And it means that your opponent is going to have a harder time taking out your free prize Pokemon. And, of course, we've got a bit of healing here with Mallow and Lana as well. And that all adds up to a very good idea. And then our stadium of choice here is Chaotic Swell. And, of course, it's Chaotic Swell. The rule at the moment should be that unless there's a particularly big stadium you want to play, you should probably play Chaotic Swell. It's the ultimate counter stadium. Your opponent puts down a stadium to try and get rid of Chaotic Swell, and it gets immediately destroyed or discarded, or however you want to phrase it without actually doing anything. Great for stopping Power Plant, which we said earlier your opponent might want to use. Great for stopping something like Shrine of Punishment, which is going to be super annoying as you're a GX heavy deck. Great for getting rid of Giant Half if your opponent just really wants it. It can protect some of your interests while hurting whatever stadium your opponent wants to play, and that makes it the right choice. I like ADP. I was worried it was going to be a bit too slow and that it needed really free energy before it got going. But clearly the international championships this past weekend showed us that it's got enough bulk and enough survivability and it's good enough when it gets going that we can really put to bed the whole it's too slow, we don't have double dragon energy argument and instead just focus on the wowza that's a good deck argument. But I'd like to know what you think about it, ladies and gentlemen, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassyplays, where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would you? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.